ねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねOh, everyone's saying hello. Hello. Everyone's saying hello. There's been no audio though. Is it muted? Uh, it shouldn't be muted. Hi, can you hear us? I've got levels. Let's do that Hi. fun, that fun test, the test part at the beginning. Room. Excuse me. Audio is good. Thank uh, you. you should hear the quiet sounds of the waves in the ocean beneath. Shh. Yeah. Ah, ah. Did you catch that SNL Oscar the Grouch spoof? I did. Did you see it? I, yeah, I did see it. Mm -hmm. What'd you think? It was good. Well, I know you're the resident David Harbour fan, uh -huh. so you have to. You're Am I? Is that a thing I am? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you of course you are. Um, hey everybody! Uh, I'll wait for you. Oh, she's, Sorry, she's doing I, a story I really or something. Cute little thing she's for been working game, on this Instagram the story. Really, the game's really cute. She's working on this Instagram story. The game's story. really cute. Is that Instagram? Like, yeah, yeah. She's working on an Instagram story, so you guys can watch behind the scenes of her working on an Instagram story. Hey everybody! Hi. How are you? How's Thanks life? For by. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I never feel like I have enough real estate for all the things I want to put put up on the screen. Did you Instagram it? I did. Um, why is my volume so low? Or are my ears infected again? Your ears are infected. You got ear infection. Are you excited for Arizona Circle this Wednesday? Mm-hmm. I am. I am, too. But we're here for a different reason. We are streaming Stranded Sails. Mm -hmm. Explorers of the Cursed Islands. Um, this game was very cute. It was on my radar, and in a twist of fate, uh, Merge Games Limited, they published games like Dead Cells. Mm -hmm. uh, Which I've also played a lot of Dead Cells. Uh, working with them and Lemon Bomb, who made this game, asked us to stream it. Yeah. Uh, so that's great. So we were like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes, kind of, okay. a, kind of a no-brainer for um, me. But yeah, so um, we're uh, we're doing a stream for you guys. Like, already I'm getting, like, Wind Waker vibes mm -hmm. from this, which it, so, I am big into. All right, I'm just going to switch over to it so that way you guys can but see But if you're a Harvest Moon fan, buckle up. Buckle up. Buckle buckaroo. up. Buckaroos. Um, well, I have to confess that I did already... I started one the other day because you were like, here's what? a code, install it. So I install it and I started it for a couple reasons. One, because I would rather 
sometimes we're probably we're gonna stream for what we'll stream for we'll stream for like an hour yeah. or something like that but sometimes with games there's a lot of build up so i was like oh well i don't want people to just see the opening or the tutorial and then also that way when they get to play it they can have their own experience with the character from the beginning mm -hmm. so um so i've just played a little bit until it seemed like we started getting into some of the meat and potatoes of the game so we're just going to continue off my my character whose i believe name was chimbino <laughs> it's chimbino. chimbino who uh decided just to catch up he his father is a captain of a ship and he decided to set sail with his father on a great adventure and he met all of the delightful people okay. on the on the ship what's up i'm into chimbino chimbino his father Charles, but I stopped it because there was a storm, and it appears to be a shipwreck. Oh, Let's go. Thanks, Martin. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't oh. worry about us, then. Worry about yeah. yourself, please. Yeah. If you hey, pro tip: if you lose your job, don't donate. So yeah, this is kind of it's a pretty cute game. I was playing Mouse Search the Island for other survivors. Yeah. But don't get exhausted. Yeah. So I think that's my at the so top is my exhaustion is your meter. There? I met a lot of these people on the ship earlier. I don't know, that's Sven, maybe? That's Sven. Oh, Chimbino. <laughs> Oi, Chimbino. So I was right to see you laying over there. Mm-hmm. There were a bunch of people, all that were like hinting at different abilities. Mm-hmm. I like his look. The one, mm -hmm. the one overall over the That's arm. That's pretty good. Sven's, Sven's this hot boy. <laughs> These are also my apples. I put them on the ship. That was my first task. So you were the apple guy? I was the apple guy. See? Good thing we took that barrel with us. That was me. Chimbino did that. <laughs> it's like you have no clue what happened to the others. So I think the premise is you get shipwrecked and we have to figure out how to build a Swiss Family Robinson like island for ourselves. Cool, I did that. When I was a kid, I loved the, the concept of the Swiss Family Robinson treehouse. Like, when that movie is fine, mm -hmm. but really what it's all about is when they're going through the treehouse showing all the different technology they put in the treehouse, technology, mm -hmm. their little simple inventions and stuff. Um, so like, you know, they've got their uh, skylight that mm -hmm. they work with, like a pulley and stuff, things like that. Uh, I love that. Wait, so I found a different rope. I guess that wasn't a sturdy rope. You need a sturdy rope. rope. Yeah. Oh, that's my ship. You want a chump's rope. Broken my mask. Okay. Is that not Jay Ray a says Chimbino sounds like an old mobster name. Agreed. Hey, Chimbino. Well, it may be one of his where they come from. So you're up good. It's unique. Okay, so and now back I... to Sven. Yeah, I'm not sure how quickly stamina goes down. It just seems like just running around you get stuff. Hey. It even has like the legend inside of like, oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You all, they definitely said that the game is inspired by Zelda. Mm -hmm. Zelda and like Harvest Moon were the two mm -hmm. big, which I, I already see. Well, it's interesting because they were probably working on this before Link's Awakening was, like, a thing. Mm -hmm. But, like, it kind of has that sound. Build a raft. Uh, I mean, I guess technically, like, this is a survival-type game. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't feel stressful. At least not right now. Got it. Build. Build it. Hey! <laughs> Chimbino's fast. Sven, I did it. Chimbino works with his hands. Well, we're landlubber because we're stranded. You know, I feel like you portrayed... Um, Captain Salazar, mm -hmm. the dreaded Captain Salazar, yeah. and now you feel like I know my way around, you know your the, way around the sea. I think I do. I would say that I do. Just so you guys know, I'm gonna skip past some of the dialogue pretty quickly, so that way you can experience it yourself. Explore the beach, find the shipwreck. What about the shipwreck? Turtle. and relaxing. Hmm. Oh, what's out there? Steven says, or Chris Stevens says, since two games I can't play that ink was gross. I've been stitches. It was gross. I had put, I had taped 
uh, tarps to the floor. Mm -hmm. So that way, because I knew obviously it was going to be messy. everywhere. A little messy. But the room was fine after. I mean, the room kind of stinks in there anyway, but sure. enter the shit work. There's a little quill there. That's, I think, that shows you. So, dad! That's my dad. I like your Charles. dad's little curl. Well, you gotta save what hair you got, trust me. Hey, Charles, you see alive right. and well. Your mm -hmm. dad got shipwrecked, too. He did. Well, he was the captain. This is his fault. I mean, I just the same thing. Yeah. Oh, I already on the other screen. Oh, on the other screen? Mm -hmm. Many people from Toronto here. See you soon. Mm. Yeah, we hit. We leave. We leave for Toronto soon. Charles telling us we look tired. Our portrait for the whole city. Well, we were at work all day, so that's fair. Oh, look, I can get my area stamina. Okay. okay that so feels more. Up. Oh, I like how it turns to night. Yeah. yeah. I feel like there's like a survival element, but not like a scary, urgent survival element. Not like a don't starve or yeah. anything like that. Just so that way you can't just go out and do stuff all the time. Hey, Stevie. Greg wants to know food. any tiny, tiny toes tonight. I don't have any tonight. You do have uh, Halloween eclipse cookies, though. True. True. I already had one, though. <laughs> Do you want to did you have one I did. already? No, I, did. I just ate. I just you ate know, I said if I finish my pizza, I'll get a cookie. You see, he said, "Go now, Chimbino." <laughs> I am Chimbino. We are. We are Chimbino. We are Chimbino. Okay, so she. So we have to get the post. Find Fiona. Oh, Fiola. 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 Just hey. then. She's a farmer. She's a farmer at heart. Okay. Because this is what they were kind of hinting at on the ship, that they have different experts. There's like a chef, and then there's this really, there's this buff, shirtless old man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you think someday you'll be a buff, shirtless old man? Oh, absolutely. That's my goal. That's what I'm working towards. Chimbino, well, keep in mind that digging is hard work. You're getting the old part. Well, I gotta do this thing. Okay, I'm I gotta do this selection here. So I got a shovel. Approach farming ground. Okay. And dig. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, okay, it shows you where you're gonna dig. So there we go. I did oh. everything I can. You're basically, Corn seed. you're basically starting a colony. Really? Yes. yes. Only we're doing it the correct way, where we're finding a place that doesn't have natives already living there. You're, uh, you are you Gwyneth see. Paltrow at the end of Shakespeare in Love, where mm -hmm. it's implied in his, his fantasy that perhaps oh, she was shipwrecked and found her way to an isle. Is that the implication? I don't know. Maybe. I thought. Well, I don't remember Shakespeare in Love. Hey, I saw Josh. in class or something. Thanks Good job, for being Chimbino. Excited. Take this bucket. Oh my God. Well, now I feel like I'm doing everything here. Uh, oh, you watered your crops. Check your inventory. Select bucket. Oh, right bumper. Bucket. This is like the Psychonauts menu. I'm just like in here. Bucket. Approach a fresh source of water. No, fresh source would have to be a waterfall, like stream or oh yeah, waterfall or something like. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Try to trick us with that ocean. Where does we, this water come from then? Think, Rainwater. They think we think it ocean. Okay, Not we're ocean. stupid. We're not stupid. I'm gonna survive. <laughs> survive. Chimbino's a survivor. Talk to Fiola. Well done, Chimbino. Crops will grow and ripen as long as they have water. 
need more water. Okay. So I need to manage this. Damien, thank you so much. Corn ripens. I never thought about that. You set up a cooking station. Oh my god. She's gonna have me build her kitchen. I mean what else do you have to do? You're you're stranded on this island. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, you kinda become the island handyman. Do you think they all they're all go to each other and they're like, just get Chimbino. You need something done, just get Chimbino to do it. Well He's a sucker. No, because he gets things done. So explore the beach east of the shipwreck. Never eat shredded wheat. Chimbino. Is that is that what you used to use? For a compass? No. You know, your little, your little code no. and you go, eh. No. What did you say? I just remembered it. Okay. You knew East Well, East I know where North, North is. Obviously. And I know where South is. Obviously. And then I know it spells we. That's all I need to remember. Got that. Got my pot. Cooking pot. But you say never eat shredded wheat. It's like a little rhyme. I just, why do oh, you. Oh, some, someone in chat saying never eat soggy waffles. Never but why do you, one. you don't need the. Yes, the N and do. the S. It's, it's unnecessary. Just remember less. Oh, here's a little pot. Hey, Fiola, I found a pot on the ground. This is gonna work for you. Good for the kitchen. All right. Let's go build a cooking station. Campsite. Turtles. One of these can days. Can you those crates? No. No, I don't think so. Maybe you can get something and smash them. Oh, is there stuff in the water you can pick up? Like there's like rope and stuff out there. No. Uh, well, maybe eventually. Can you go in? Which way? <laughs> Freak it out. <laughs> there we go. There's a cooking station. Let's build a kitchen. See how hard I work? They go, that's Chimbino. He knows what he's doing. See, that, that build was faster than Fortnite. You're right. Oh, Chimbino. The cooking station looks great. But check on your crops. Okay. Don't want to lose me. Harvest corn. What's that Y for? Hmm? There's a Y. Oh, so you press Y now? That's just oh, my okay. quest. Oh, those are quest items. Uh, harvest your corn. Explore the island. Go to sleep or talk to farmers. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll sit with you. A little romance, a little island romance. No, it's platonic. Oh, that's cute. She loves Sven anyway. Does she? No. Or are you just saying that? I'm just applying attributes. But I do like that we are standing here overnight staring at each other's eyes. So, Corn's ready! <laughs> uh, Sven uh, took a vow of celibacy. Did he? Mm -hmm. Good for him. Corn's up. Corn's on. Make it poppin'. Can I? Am I gonna be inventing popcorn? Corn's up. Harvest your produce. Those cobs look great. I keep reading it as childish Gambino. No, it's Chimbino. <laughs> but did you did you combine? No, I just named him Chimbino. New recipe discovered. Let's cook it. Hmm. Yeah. Let's cook oh, that. Man. Pretty good. Cook another one. Ooh, that looks good. I think I, I have corn in the fridge. Are you gonna make corn? Should I? This? Probably not. I mean, unless no. you're gonna eat it. They probably wouldn't time up. Probably. I think we've moved past the corn. <laughs> I could, I could make twenty different corn stalks. What mm. are you doing? I can smell the deliciousness from here. Wow, that's great. Yeah, we just put the corn in our bag. Yeah. Shove it in my pockets. <laughs> Let the butter fill my <laughs> fill my pockets. I'll I tell my daddy. It. I love butter. I'm gonna tell my daddy about my corn. Okay, so I got food item. Oh, okay. Up, down, just like that. And then left, right. Hit the collect. Hold to eat. Got it. Got it. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Talk to Charles. On yeah. my way, Charles. Um, What's up, Chuck? Oh, wait, that's hands. <laughs> Ahoy, my child. Yes. 
We are engaged, father. Father, I brought you corn. I'm engaged. Sven and I are to be married. The matrimonial corn. <laughs> well, you're going to have to build a chapel. Find the garlands and the wooden stalks and the flower girl. Wait, he's got a map of the island. Mm -hmm. But the island is unexplored. Rags filled with food. Use it to stay active on your trips. This island seems to be of an enormous size. It's not likely that the rest of the crew has been washed up. We gotta find this crew. We have a mission. Uh, where's the map? That's us. Wait, that this is us? What's us? We've only discovered three percent of this. That's cool. us. There's there. So there's Sven. There. Forty-three percent of that. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay. Search for other stars. It's a little tough to hear us. It's a little tough to hear us. Mm -hmm. Hopefully right. it's better. All right. Let's see. So I'm there. Explore the beach east of the shipwreck. Let's see. It, since I don't have to remember where north is, I'll just immediately go east. Never eat shredded wheat. I got corn in my pocket and a map in my hand. I'm playing stranded sails. I'm a man in the plan. I want to find that old buff guy, honestly. You would. What if I got bit by a snake out here? Then it cut to father weeping. Search for other survivors. Where are we? Okay, there's fish over there. <gasps> hey, bud. Logan. Hey, bub. Oh, it's you, Chimbino. <laughs> Return to camp. What do you give me, Chim or Logan? It's his little green thing. It's probably little oh, he, maybe he's a green like a green thumb or something. You've given you've been given a minute. Do we need water? May as well since we're there. Did you keep watering the corn? I think so. That seems to be what she implied. Oh, I also need to dig more because I can, I got oh, seeds. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a secret to this island, you know? Yes, there is. You're right. I guess the real question is whether or not I'm going to want everything to be corn. Like corn house? Mm -hmm. Husk house? And uh, you make a wife out of the corn? Mm hmm I marry you. I now pronounce you man and corn. Oh, you can make a new ship out of the corn. That's true. Out of the stalks. Oh, I'm getting tired. Don't worry, I have corn. Uh, still keep thinking the eye is a little low. Hmm. Can we turn this on? No, it's, it's at max. Is it? Because I just turned it more. That's not. That's if you have headphones plugged oh. in. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, we well, gotta talk to Charles. He'll mm. probably have me nap. He's like, Chimbino, boy, nap. Uh -huh. Found Logan and brought him back. Okay. I will. But first, Don't worry about Charles. I nap. Logan can wait for me. Aha! Uh -huh. I feel refreshed, Father. Oh, Father gets that big thing all to himself. He thinks because he's a captain, he's better than me. All right, where? Logan. Where'd he go? Okay. Campsite. There he Corn's is. Corn's ready. Corn's on. 
I gotta make more corn. There's some essentials missing. Well, that's a backhanded compliment. Gotta find tongs, wood wood saw, and uh... <gasps> oh, that's something I'm gonna get chopped through. I'm gonna unlock that area later. I'm gonna grab some corn. It's harvest time. No. Go corn hungry again. Speaking of kernels. What? What about it? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Look at all the recipes I'm going to be able to make. God. Like what? Well, he's just saying it's a whole sheet. Let's go to the beach east of the shipwreck. You got it. Gather one simple tongs. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> simple tongs. <laughs> Yeah, I believe it. I seem to lose stamina at, at rate of distance, not speed, right? It seems like it seems like when I do this, it doesn't really change all that much. Or maybe it does. Okay, let's find those tongs. One wood saw. Oh, Oop, turtle! Saw. You gonna pop up? You don't trust oh, me. Oh, you can't get him? There's Where's a saw. There's a saw, yeah. You're on the right track. Cool, okay. There's tongs. Tongs. And then a heavy hammer. Got it. Sometimes Perfect. I like uh, sometimes I like when games have a like a mobile game aesthetic. Like it feels like you could like tap that mm -hmm. without actually being a mobile game. Well it makes sense because I think let me double check before I say it, but Oh yeah, because this game is also available on Switch. Oh, that's cool. Which <gasps> which totally makes sense. Yeah. Um, and actually, if you buy it, it came out today, and if you buy it in the, the Nintendo eShop, mm -hmm. you get 15% off. And in the Microsoft Store. Hmm. I mean, this is pretty mellow. I can see myself playing this on a plane. What have you done, Sven? Yeah, it would be nice to see them in the background doing something. I mean, they might get to that point. Oh, okay, so all right. So there's that, yeah. This, do you ever, did you ever play Sweet Coden for mm -mm. PlayStation? That game was pretty great because it had like, correct me if I'm wrong, but like 120 characters that you could add to your party. And then you basically had this castle, which was your home base, and then it would slowly add more and more uh, people. Like if you found all the different characters, they'd like, populate within your castle and then you'd have this giant community that all had different purposes doing different things or like allowing you to customize in a different way okay ah, that's what i said earlier give me an axe let's cut it down can you use this to murder everyone else when uh Things get desperate. <laughs> when the corn runs dry, we have one bad mm -hmm. harvest. People come, they came from my corn father. <laughs> but his father's dead. And he's it's, still he's, it's to replaced by a man made of corn. Yeah. Father, you understand? That's some simple, simple wood. wood. My nickname in high school. Mm -mm. We need six simple wood. We get two wood per tree. Uh huh. So that means ten trees. Gotcha. Simple wood. Someone said get meat somehow. It's with the axe. Everything's with the axe. You get one more tree. You might as well harvest it, right? No. Oh, come, come on. on. No, what is this, on. Brazil? You <laughs> Only use the trees you need. I'm getting a little closer, a little intimate there. Will you be my new dad? <laughs> oh, I did. Oh, explore the new camp area. Oh, I will gotcha. just a minute. Hold on, I got a corn up. 
That's all you eat. Do you see that? What? Yes. I don't eat like that. Like that. Well, I do. I'm a very messy eater, I would say. Oh, what's going on up there? There's something up there. This could be my new home. Chop those trees while you can. Get that simple wood. There's something up here, though. You see mm -hmm. uh, Rafiki holding Mufasa. Uh huh. Not Mufasa. What? I guess. Well, would Rafiki have been around and held Mufasa as well as Simba? Is, Muf is Rafiki that old? Yeah, I feel like Rafiki probably would have been a young. Rafiki, how many lions? <laughs> He's old. A, a lot of lions. How many lion cubs has Rafiki held over Pride Rock? I would say a fair amount. Chat. Well, what do you guys guess? What would you guess? I would say Rafiki. In his lifetime, mm -hmm. including Simba's son. Does he hold... Does so, here's what I... Go ahead. I haven't seen any of the Lion King sequels to know if he holds any other Lion King. Like Kion? Or if... I don't know who that is. I don't know if he if he appears in the sequels. Rafiki? You don't know Rafiki's lore? Without knowing Rafiki's lore, I would say that, yes, he held up Mufasa. But I would say that while he was present for Mufasa's father's being held up, he was he just was a young he was just a young baboon at mm -hmm. the time. Well, he didn't have the prestige to be the baboon. To yeah, he was him. observing, he was observing the other one. What whoever preceded Rafiki in the hierarchy of things. So I'm getting pooped. I'm going to say he's held four. I'm trying to get as much done as possible. I'm trying to make these planks. Achievement. It is. Nice. Welcome Build Logan's everybody. shack. I'm building his shack. Pacific roots. Got those Pacific roots. What happens if you run out of stamina? Do you just collapse somewhere? Oh my god. I, I mean, can't believe I'm building probably, Logan a shack. It probably restarts you at the cabin, right? With your dad. Two wooden planks. I build them. Are you kidding me? Building this guy a shack. Food you can eat. Can I sleep in here at least? I ate all my corn. Oh no. Oh, it's a load. Can I sleep in here? What is that supposed to mean? Why is he constantly backhand and complimenting me? Good job, Junior. Okay. Oh my god. I have to build her shack too. Well, I gotta sleep at some Your point. Stamina is low. You gotta eat something. Well, I have to nap. I think. It's because I'm running everywhere doing all these errands for all these people I barely know. Oh, can you harvest that here? Mm -hmm. You bet. Great. Give me corn. It looks like maybe you can do... It shows you how much it'll recoup, so maybe there's more things you can do. Keep myself barely awake. Oh my god, her arm her hurts. hurts! She can't build it, her arm hurts, come on. Well, my patience hurts. Makeshift dowels. Okay, well, does that mean I didn't build the other guy's place? Oh. I need huh. wood. Special components in the chest at Logan's shack. He's, he's oh been holding out on God, Logan, you could have told me. I should have watered that corn. All right, I'm going to do this. Get this stuff. Hopefully build her shack, and then... Oh, oh yes. some crates. Give me the stuff. What's that? Metal scraps. Okay. Okay. Hardwood, okay. I swear to you, Logan, no matter what I do, the shack I build for everyone else will be better I knew, I knew exactly than the one I say. built for you. Do not build this island on spite. Something tells me I'm getting a shack last. And you won't even be you able to sink a free throw. You have that place with your father. <laughs> Did you see um, 
I don't know if this is real or not, but I saw like a a uh, post on Reddit, and it was it was a quote from Shaquille O'Neal. I don't know mm-hmm. if it's true or not, but that the because of the B-52s, he can't sign letters. Love, Shaq. What? Because of the B-52s. Yeah, I think I understand, but also don't. I don't have necessary items to build. Two wooden planks. Oh, I need the wood. Okay, I'll be back, Fiona. Wait for me, my love. And do this. Sleep. Take a nap. Let's go check something. I don't think you can check it while I'm playing. Oh, oh, okay. Isn't the island's water boy? Here it's carpenter? Yeah, I know. It's embarrassing. I'm ashamed. Father made me do this. I gotta build more next time. Okay, so I'm gonna sleep. Come out. More mm-hmm. corn. <laughs> I mean, you gotta plan your day. Do We're you, surviving here. Do you dream of corn? I will. These. I go, that crescent moon reminds me of corn. You brush your teeth with the paste of kernels matched mm-hmm. up. Father, they're abusing me. Alright, so let's see. Shovel. Watch this efficiency. Because I got seeds, too. So I'm going to dig some more stuff here. Corn's ready. <laughs> Plop that. I want us to get a different crop other than corn. Well, ain't it happening? We're corn town now. Pop that. You didn't even try to spell out anything or create an interesting shape. Well, I'm going to spell it with the different crops. Numerous crops will spell out different shapes. God, I'm already so tired. (laughs) Yeah, I wonder if you can expand your stamina at some point. I bet there's like gonna be food items you can get that expand your stamina. And then grab this corn. Look at that. Rich with corn. Corn rich. Can you imagine if the banned corn washed up on this island? Oh really? That'd be pretty cool. I'd throw them right in the pot. Okay, you guys are delicious now. Okay, can't carry any more food. Can't carry food. That won't stop me from eating. Corn on the run. <laughs> Corn on the run. All right, I'm gonna chop down some trees. What is it, three for a plank, I think? The Lorax is gonna pop out and yell at me. Yeah, I wonder if you can regrow trees. Like you, you must, right? Uh, yeah, I feel like yeah. I love his man swing. His just big old swing of one arm swinging. If you're tuning in now. This game is stranded sails, so we're shipwrecked on this island, trying to survive. Okay. Oh, what's that? It's a bridge. It looks like an oh, attachment okay, okay. for a bridge. I do like how, because like this, sometimes survival games are so caught up in just like being procedurally generated or whatever. Mm-hmm. This one, at least at this early phases of the game, feels like it's purposeful. Yeah. So you like see something, you're like, oh, I am excited to be able to get yeah. the ability to build a rope bridge because then I can go over there. I mean, and it's basically explore. still a game. Yeah. I'm typically not a big procedurally generated fan because I like when a world, like like you're saying, I like when a world is deliberate. Mm-hmm. And there's intent behind the way it was designed and mm-hmm. how it's going to open and expand to me. Mm-hmm. Like there, because there's a real reward in you know getting to new areas in a world. And mm-hmm. I think I can build your house now. Wait until you build that house first, and then Sven moves in. Are you kidding me? Look at this place. Look at what I've done for you. Have you ever seen Children of the Corn? No, I don't, I've never seen any 
all of them all any I all the way through. I owned the original one on DVD, and then I had seen the library. Or, pardon me, I owned it on VHS, not DVD. Did you see what he said? No, what he said. He said, "Go talk to Logan. He'll tell you how to build Sven's shack." <laughs> oh, no. I feel like I'm tearing up over here. <laughs> I think they might be using you. I think so. <laughs> They're like the captain's out, so we're gonna go. Oh. Talk to Logan. Oh. Logan. Oh. Where's Logan at? Oh, uh, let's see. Jensen came home and immediately went to sleep. I know. I noticed he that. He's very tired today. Oh my god, Logan isn't even in bad as shack. He's not even using it. You guys, I got a dark crystal poster. It's really cool. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I mean, it is cool. Are yeah. you going to frame it? Maybe. Maybe. I'm at one of that point in my life where I'm like, oh, maybe it'd be nice to have nice frames for things. Well, I got you your Psychonaut poster You framed. did, and you put it in a nice frame, and I'm like, oh, that's nice. That's a nice adult thing to do. Yeah, I thought it was sweet. How sweet of me. Uh-huh. Is that my water do already? Cooking for other people. If the quorum comes alive. It wouldn't be the first time. Alright. Let's see. Con on the run. I Father. don't know what is this. This is stranded sails. So you're stranded on this island and it and you're trying to survive. Um so you start farming and you know, accumulating resources, crafting, building. But there's a secret to the island. We haven't even I don't know what it is. Scratch the surface yeah, of it. Logan, where are you? Oh, great. Oh, Sven wants beachside. Oh, that's nice. He goes to say something like, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. by the way, it's at the beach, so you have to reinforce it with stone. <laughs> I need more for the other shack, so I'm going to have to keep exploring. Don't forget to bring some food. Okay. I think, like, ultimately the game Two opens points. up to Two more points. questing and adventure elements. But if you like games like Harvest Moon, it has that, like, chill farming and Harvest crafting, Moon. cooking aspect to it. Can I not chop oh, the this? hinterlands north of the camp. Yeah. I'm going to have to go cook some corn first, though, before I hit the bricks. I don't want to get caught out there. <laughs> I wish your dad could sleep for both of you. Me too. He's like, oh, son, I should help you. And I'm like, no, don't get up. He's like, okay. <laughs> no problem. Is it corn grown? No. It takes time for corn to grow. As you'll soon discover, boy. The club is full of ballers and the corn is full of grown. All right, so I'm going to sleep. What's going to happen with your dad? Fuck. He's going to be there forever. Look at this, middle of the night. Creeping oh, outside. Night corn. Look at the evening time. I go out late so the trees don't see Are me there coming. Are dangers on the island during the night? Does the turtle sneak up on the turtle? Nope. Oh. He does turtle stuff. I don't know if there's enemies in this game. It doesn't feel like it. I just like kind of the responsibility of carrying Sven. They go to their fucking shack. Oh, I can go through here. Nice. Gotcha. The hinterlands. Who's there? Is that yeah, what's that? Is someone? Is it? It's not us. Oh wait, it's down there. There's a box. Is it shining? Oh, oh it yeah. is. Sounds like Final Fantasy 7 music. Please be a mouse wrap. Potatoes! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Potato seeds! Oh, baby. More potatoes? Give it to me. Here's the thing, and since I went out at night, I don't need to tell anyone. Guys, I love potatoes. 
but Which I'm sure you can imagine. There's no but. Uh, One of my favorite ways of eating a potato. Maybe you guys do this too. Let me know. I'm gonna do a smashed potato. Okay, it's not quite a mashed potato. It's not quite a baked potato. But you bake potato, right? When it's done, though, you take a, a you know, fork or you, or something like a spatula, and you smash it down. You keep the skin on. Smash it down, mm -hmm. okay? And then you put a bunch of butter all over it, salt and pepper, and that's your smashed potato. It's delicious. The best Great. thing is when you describe it, it always feels like, you know, like, and now you're gonna get to the point where the cooking starts or whatever, no. but it's... You put the potato in some uh, uh, tin foil, you cook it in the oven at what, 450 for an hour maybe? You know what I'm gonna be cooking tonight? Who knows? Turtles. Turtle soup. No, oh, no. <laughs> Is that a thing? Turtle soup? Yeah. Nathan, new member, and Ned, with that poetic quote about humor. Glenn, James, how stoked are you at The Last of Us Part Two as a release date? Sure. I mean, honestly, it's people laugh. Laugh as you might, but I'll probably play it. Yeah, you played the first one. I, people people forget that I played the first one. Lucky E, my baby. Oh, finally. More trees that can't defend themselves. You ever see that clip of Al Pacino saying baby? And he's like, baby! Yeah. <laughs> she just chopped down all this Your wood outfit's kind of giving me Pinocchio vibes. Definitely Pinocchio. Like hot Pinocchio vibes. Oh, hot Pinocchio. I don't know. Lizard. Oh, you can. Poop oh, nuggets you horror game can... stream on Halloween. Perchance? Perhaps? I don't know. Maybe. We find the right game. Yeah. Per was? <laughs> I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start like. Per wasing? Like, like, you know. Per four? Uh, maybe. It kind of depends. I've. I always think it's fun to, you know, if, if Halloween's not, out, like, on a weekend or whatever, you're not going to a party or something, like, just kind of watch a scary movie is great, but playing a scary game would be fun, too. Do you guys have any Recommend. recommendations? We do have a lot of games coming to the Funhouse channel, too. Jerry, come on, Jerry. No need, my man. All right, where are the potatoes gonna go? Right here. Potato corner right here. Keep them away from filthy hobbitses. <laughs> I think we should watch the Hobbit movies okay. again. Is it because you saw that one tweet or whatever about how someone else watched them again and mm -hmm. it wasn't as terrible? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But, but I also like, because I look at Lord of the Rings memes on a daily basis, I also see a lot of Hobbit stuff in there. Just by, just I've by only proxy. seen them once, and I feel like I should watch them again. Oh my god, please wait. I gotta plant these onions before I pass out. You know what an onion is like? Uh, an ogre. A hobbit. Oh. A parfait. Oh, because hobbits okay, are much more layered than What people happens think. if I pass out? Oh, you're going to test it? I don't know. I think it's going to transport you back to... Is this game over? The... Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, it just gives you half the stamina. Beach in the west of the camp. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Now I know. So then you sleep again. Uh-huh. I'm up in the morning. Up at dawn. Never stops. Never stops for me. Never stops for old Chimbino. Because <laughs> people count on Chimbino. Cameron, thanks. Excited to see you guys. And Tim Hortons. <laughs> Chef's Kiss is a new thing. That's your thing. That's a new thing. Let's see. I'm just gonna plant these last corn seeds. Then I'll have my corn section there. What is a corn seed? Is it just like a, a century kernel or something? I, I, I don't actually really know. Don't know. I gotta look it up. Hang on. I'm educate, uneducated in the ways of farming. Yeah, it is something where I'm like, so a lot of crops I couldn't identify what 
the seed look like? I mean, well, I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's just, it's kernels, right? We have identified what dry soil looks like, at least. So we know what dry soil looks like. Just drink it up. Just drink up that water. Yeah, Buy corn seeds and make our own corn. No mm. longer would we be beholden to big corn. <laughs> we should grow corn at the office. Oh, really? Like, what if we had a little farm? farm at the office? There's a place not too far from us that was like a yeah. like a place, a reserve that you can do. All right, guys, we're going to be doing this. Don't worry. Oh, mystery food. Oh, now we're cooking with corn. Just like an idiot. Someone said that Jenna Marbles reference. I don't know what you're talking about. Unless it's, you're referring to someone in chat saying something. How do I select a recipe to cook or discover? Select an unknown recipe with ingredients. Well, I mean, potato well, and eight. onions. Classic potato and onions. Staple. Ooh, wasn't good. Potato and corn? What does it say? Rotate? Well. I don't know if it's trying to tell me something. Cancel. Corn, yeah. potatoes. Classic corn, potatoes. Ooh. What do the symbols mean? It says select. What does it say down there? This discover is not an option. Do you combine like something already cooked? Oh, I don't know. Hold on. Let's try. Corn onions. Classic corn onions. Oh, okay. This is your classic corn onions. <laughs> That's interesting. Never okay, seen that so before. I made a corn onion. Oh, it might. Let's see. That one. Classic potato corn. There we go. Got him. Let's make some corn onions. Uh, maybe some corn onions here. And then uh, why not some potato corn? So while I'm at it, throw in some potato corn. Ooh, can't make it. Too much. Got too much. All right, let's go get this taken care of. Maybe imbibe of some corn onions on the way. Oh, that is the spot. <laughs> Just like Charles used to make. The recipes. Got it. I understand. So I never found a metal bracket. He, he, one of the things he told me I needed to find was a metal bracket. Because Sven wanted his house to, um, anchored. There's like three little pigs over here. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Craft a metal brace. Do you have to build a foundation because oh, he okay. wants it on the beach? So this is where I build it. I need to go to Logan's crafting table, which he almost as a cruel joke decided to place at the top of the hillside. Well, you're going to gather like supplies and do farming and stuff along the way, right? No, I'm going to go straight there. I got corn to make. Corn onions. Fresh corn onions. Let's guy start a stand. Fresh corn onions. And they go, well, you have to make it yourself. Oh. All right, metal brace. And then, and then this. Two planks. I wish I could just jump. Suicide dive down there. Sven, catch! Do you have any heroes in, in history? Um, Christopher Columbus. It's a joke. No, it's a joke. Come heroes on. in history. I always thought it was really cool that Leonidas um, 
told the uh, Persian army to come get them when they told him to drop down his weapons. Reportedly. I always thought that was really, really cool. I always felt like Winston Churchill had fire insults for people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. He's... Oh, you mean... I was going I further mean... back, I guess. Okay. But, yes, he is... He's brutal. Like, people that don't have official accounts of stuff. Like, don't have radio. Gotcha. This is Jimmy Stewart's one of your heroes, right? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. He's one of my heroes. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's just he me. Was a, a, he me. flew in the war. <laughs> Oh, one floor over the cuckoo's nest, I think. Jimmy Stewart, he's a fun person. Uh, they call me landlubber, but they're just standing there as I'm building their houses back together. Talk to Charles! So, did it crash? I don't think so. Oh, he's talking about crashed our boat. Oh, the ship wreck. Well, we... Technically, kinda... Charles was in charge at the time of the crash. Charles Chimbino. Was, like, the show Charles in Charles charge. was in charge, yeah. Someone said, Elise, your hair is getting long again. That's what happens. I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes here. I got my hair cut about every two months. But... To maintain it at the same length. Mm. And I have been doing so for... Tricky. I don't know. Two years. It's very two tricky. Years. So it probably will not get longer than this. Do you think you could ever Despite like? Despite how much corn I eat, which corn's good for the hair. Do you think you could ever like be on? Well, I know the answer is probably yes, but like be on a TV show where you had to maintain the same look for like years. Yeah, absolutely. Would Maroney. you prefer it if you don't have to think um, of? You get me a pot. Well, yeah, but then I also feel like in that situation. On TV shows that are very particular about your look, you usually have a like a specific stylist that like helps you maintain that look. Mm -hmm. Well, I've I've always like understood the whole like Brad Pitt shows up to an event and he just looks like he looks like a hobo or whatever yeah. because he was like so busy being clean sh like having to be clean shaven with short hair, so then he just lets everything grow out because who cares? Tomato seeds. I already got the potato seeds, babe. You tell me there's tomato seeds out there? Well, I'll take a nap, then hit the bricks. Maybe corn potato for the road. Colby says, would you ever consider getting a second dog friend for Benson? Oh, uh, yeah, of course we've considered it over the years, but you guys Benson... Cut it out, Colby. Benson would not appreciate it. He's really not... He's a very solitude species or, or creature, and I don't think he would care for it. Like, there are times when we've, very few times we've, uh, you know, watched after dogs for friends. And you can tell Benson almost has this relief mm -hmm. when they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like in my journeying around earlier, I missed and the tomato seeds. We, uh, recently, we, we watched Matt's dog for, like, a couple nights. And Benson, you know, he'll usually sleep, like, at the end of our bed. And then... Um, sometimes he'll he'll scuttle up in the morning to like to us but uh when morgan was here he like immediately came mm -hmm. and had to be like right next to yeah. us he was like i'm not risking losing this spot yeah that's pretty cute it is cute keeps him on his toes mm -hmm. he needs it he definitely it's too needs comfortable it. Corn onions, chomp down. Plenty of corn potatoes left in the pot. So we're looking for tomato seeds. Oh, maybe just when you go to a different part of the island, the music changes. I don't know. Huh? Oh, what's that? Champions Genesis Fate is one of what? Lore artifact. I was just a boy when my father died. He'd always told me about the great arena amidst the ancient sea. His last wish was for me to enter and try my best to win. Well, we got a mystery. We, can... wow. we have uncovered a stranded mystery. So we need five of those to uncover the arena that we can I can't in? wait until Logan is extremely condescending <laughs> about it to me. sure that doesn't 
doesn't show me on the map when the seeds are. 20% of this land is covered. There's them living their best life. Looking for those tomato seeds. Maybe we'll cut this down over here. Hamza, please adopt me. I'm only 31. Oh. We're practically, I mean, we're peers, really. But yes, we will. Oh, are those tomatoes? Those carrots. Get me down there. Father, I found carrots. Don't you dig them up? Kaboom! Carrot seeds. Suddenly, Chimbino isn't so he much is. of a chimp. Whatever you're chump. about to say, no, he is. Mm. All right, hold on. We gotta find tomato seeds. <laughs> it's all my food. Let's see. What? There's Is another Chad bridge. Chad talking about Groundhog Day? If I was in Phil's place, I would read every single book in the library and learn not just the piano, but all the other instruments. You just watched it recently. I did just watch it. What is it? He was he was there for like 80 years or something? <laughs> Someone did was the it, math. I thought it was eight years, he said. Eight years. Okay. So I'm finding onion or tomatoes. Oh, that box over there is shimmering. Mm -hmm. It's calling to you. It beckons, <gasps> like cave. the sea beckoned. Should I go this in? Is, yes, absolutely, 100%. I just need to find tomato seeds. No, this is... Oh, look, there's scrolls down That's there. That's probably another artifact. Part of it? Yeah. That's our priority right now, is this artifact. We're not going to be able to survive. We need to get to the arena. <laughs> nope. Hey, you can't get down there? Nope. Then we oh, have to build so something. Oh, it's so tempting. So much, so much yet to explore. So much yet to See, explore. See, like, that's why, personally, compared to... What? Mm -hmm. Go on, tell compared me. Compared to, um, like, randomly generated... Mm -hmm procedurally generated stuff i like that like well i will say that dead cells has oh, well, like yeah. it'll like you can tell certain rooms mm -hmm. will reoccur or intentional yeah all right okay More carrots oh okay carrot, carrot right, then none of this matters if i can't find those tomato seeds I hate seances. I'm so excited for Arizona Circle. Thank you. So I'm really excited to for you guys to see it, and um, I hope you'll stick around and watch through some of the later episodes because some of the later episodes are shaping up to be my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so there's that. Can't go past that. Maybe I passed it in the beginning. The interesting thing about Arizona Circle is a lot of times you work on stuff like chronologically. And so things get better as they go on. Um, I'll use the not at all apt comparison, but for the sake of discussion, like Sex Swing, a lot of people, way more people preferred the last episode of the season than they did the first ep this oh, episode of the really season. Oh, really well written episode. Uh-huh. And... It's because, it's because the working process of figuring it all out improved along the way, despite it also being well written. Mm -hmm. um, it improved along the way, and I think that helps a lot. Um, but Arizona Circle, I think, is pretty good. I guess writing things were written, maybe working through where the narrative goes, but it was all kind of like broken at the same time and then the shooting yeah. schedule is all over well, the place yeah, so like the shooting schedule to some degree was shot out a little bit to how the show would be airing because at the time we thought that we would be going really aggressively into post immediately after we were done shooting and that changed the post schedule got pushed back 
a few months. So it didn't ultimately, ultimately it didn't matter. We could have shot it in whatever order we wanted to. But at the time we were trying to make a certain uh, timeline with posts. So we thought, okay, we need to, to get these sketches shot out a little bit earlier so they can start making their way there. Um, so yeah, I think like, you know, obviously like by the end of production, it was like old hat, you know, we were moving along. But I don't know, yeah, I don't know exactly why. Like episode four is one of my favorites. Episode six is one of my favorites. Seven has a lot of really great stuff. Eight, I just um, watched a first cut of the hub sketch of eight, and I really loved it. When you it. say eight, you're counting the pilot. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, I mm-hmm. am. I'm counting the pilot in there. Because there are seven new episodes mm-hmm. c- coming for the season. I think, in my opinion, everything is better than what was in the pilot. I would agree. So if yeah. you enjoy the pilot, I think you will yeah. enjoy this and more. stuff like... Cux is coming back and I think is great. Mm -hmm. Banana Bunch is coming back and is an absolute ride. Yeah. They're like better versions of the original stuff. They're not remakes or whatever, but like revisiting the character and stuff. It it feels like it's a better version. It's like if you took some potatoes and you mixed them with some onions. Wasn't able to do that. Oh, uh, I mean, corn and corn and the. (laughs) Corn, Corn, yeah. I need to find these toma- damn tomatoes. Tomatoes. Maybe the turtles got them. Check the map. Okay, so that's where Logan was. I mean, yeah, you've explored both of these places that they're indicating you should explore, right? I think so. Well, it said east of the shipwreck. Speaking of Arizona Circle. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, turtle. Aaron Claire. Uh-huh. Message me. Yeah. And said that she just started playing Stranded Sales tonight. Oh, really? Got him. I was so close to the tomatoes. Yes. Sorry, guys. We went we went the long way around, but we found carrots on the way. You know what they say? It's not. It's not always about the destination. It's about the carrots you find along the you way. You say tomato. I say potatoes. Not as not featured in. Mm. Go back to camp. Got your stuff for you, my friend. Found all your seeds. Okay. Four different recipes. Oh. Okay. Let's try. Let's try this one. It's gotta be tomatoes. And corn. Tomatoes and corn. Not tomatoes and potatoes? You combine them together, you call them potatoes. Okay. It's corn filled tomato. I've never eaten that. Have well, you no, I haven't. Uh... Oh, and watch McGruber if you've never seen it. Nope. Mm. So this one's right. Tomato onion soup. Okay, it checks. It checks out. Uh, why don't I crack out some of that? I can do that. This one doesn't do much. That one does. What do I got? Yeah, I want some of those. Owen, no problemo. It's what we're here for. Once you watch it, tell me what you think. The van scene is one of my favorites. You'll know when you see it. What? Oh, what Arizona he's Circle? Look, no, he's looking for a funny movie to watch. It said, if you oh, haven't seen oh, MacGruber, oh, MacGruber, check it out. All right. View s- stew for the crew. <laughs> That's cute. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, okay. Oh. You view gotta stew for the crew. Drop at least. Like. Well. Buy at least three ingredients for the stew. Corn for him. And tomato for her. And a disgusting <laughs> onion for Logan. <laughs> okay, so you're trying to remember yeah. what people like. Uh, so she really liked tomatoes. Yeah. Stew. 
That's a cute idea. May I check something over here? Yeah. Oh, that filled me up. So I did it. Oh, bird! This is a bird that got us trouble in the first place. There we go. Inspect the bird. I hope he talks. Bird? Please talk, bird. Jay Wolf says, My favorite people in entertainment. Mm. Thanks so much. That's super sweet of you. I'm shipwrecked and Thanks stuck on this small sandbar. I can only end in sight from my shiny bald spots burning from that Aww. sun. That's the old man. It's a little uh, green patch. Oh, he's reading it. <laughs> I thought that was a bird of sorry. Uh -huh. Franklin, what's popping? I tell my dad about Fritz. Probably wrap it up wrap soon. It up soon. Oh, but let me just see how I get to Fritz. That way we can end okay. with me finding myself. Okay. Why does it in front of the beach? A small rowboat. I guess Sven's been working. He's been working on the boat, right? Something tells me he's been working on the design for the boat. <laughs> and your old pal Chimbino is going to be the one building it. Oh, that's cool. What do you do with the telescope? Whoa. It, I mean, have a little disclaimer or, or description for what you do. I kind of missed it. I bet that it just lets you, like, so you can search further around and then set markers. Oh, it looks like since I had the stew, I lose less stamina. Over time. Hugo. My rowboat. Is this for me, boy? Oh, Hugo. Sorry to hear that. Thank you so much. It's really nice of you. And I appreciate it. It's okay, Hugo. We'll be thinking of you. We'll breathe into the Canadian air. Into the rowboat. Whoa. That's cool. Hold to start rowing. Find Fisherman Fritz. Oh, okay. Uh, and then you can do this. Cool. So let's see. Can we find so him? So let me find the map. The sandbars of the North Camp. Sandbars of the North Camp. So we could theoretically go to like an island, right? Like up there. Those are the sandbars? Along Probably. The Don't worry, Fritz, we're coming. I guess I'm kind of the captain of the rowboat, you could say. Hmm? Couldn't you say that? Does the rowboat fit more than one person? No, just me. Just captain me. Who, who are you the captain of? The, everyone on the rowboat. So let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dan, I'm sorry to hear that. Just try to keep your own mental health in mind. And, you know, sometimes people try to put their stuff on you, and that's not fair. Um, but maybe just try doing something that gives you a good peace of mind. Watch something that's comforting to you. J Ray, first live stream. Thanks for coming. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Rope. Oh, Fritz! Mason bought their fiance this game. Hasn't been able to play it. Were you able to get the discount? Because right now, I think starting today, there's 15% off in the Nintendo eShop and uh, Microsoft Store. Fuck. 
Sure, this old man. Oh, this is what you're. <laughs> this is Fritz. This, this is, is what I'm gonna be. This is your end game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on, bud. Let's go. I'll take you home. Let's see what he wants. Who do you think he can help me with? Muscles. Your strength. Yeah. He could carry heavy. Um, Construction items for you. He'd probably teach me how to carry. And oh, I think he's going to ask you for more. Oh, fishing. He's probably a fisherman. So he's going to build me a fishing rod so I can fish Wait, for fish. He, he lost his fishing rod when he went on a rescue mission, but then you just had to rescue him. Classic Chimbino. Was, I've been living this my whole life. Where's the mu he's got the muscles. Does he have Find the mind? Find Fritz's fishing rod. Look at my... Oh, no, everything's dry. Uh-oh. Hold on, uh -oh, let me water my stuff. Out. Water my stuff, do some crop picking, and then we'll probably call it a night. Onions are ready. Potatoes are ready. I'm sorry, my beauties. I'm so sorry for forgetting you. Look, Fiola's got a nice house going there. I like that once the bucket has water in it, it has water in it. So you're not running back and forth constantly. Boom. Look at that. Is it not ready yet? These are ready. Mm. What is that? Those are onions. Onion. Okay, a blooming onion. Mm hmm. People never see the onion as they're meant to be seen. A beautiful flower? Mm hmm Good talk over myself. Beautiful onion flower. But everyone just focuses on that thick base. I'm talking about you. Well, I mean, I feel like this is a pretty good stopping point. Yeah, that's fun, though. I, I'm really curious what that arena aspect is. There's plenty of lore. Lore to discover. Mm -hmm. So let's see. I did the onions today. Um. Yeah, thank you, Merge Games, for letting us play this. Cause yeah, sponsoring this gameplay. It's uh, right up, you know, right in my wheelhouse. I was gonna say, we have we're playing this on Steam right now, but I'm like, maybe I get to it on Switch, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe just to have it on Switch. It feels like kind of a mellow thing that it seems worth picking up. Plus, you can pretend you're in Pirates of the Caribbean if you really mm -hmm. wanted to. Erin Claire, makeup artist on Arizona Circle, is digging it right now. She just. Just hit me up. Yeah, let me just finish doing some. I'm just doing some slight maintenance here. Make some soup, and then we'll head to bed. I got seeds too. Carrot seeds. <laughs> There's just always stuff to be done, you know. Chimbino. <laughs> Chimbino never sleeps. Chimbino doesn't have time to sleep. Chimbinos never say die, you know. Uh huh. Those tomatoes. Let's pop the tomatoes down here. Keep everything organized. <laughs> I love how he like fusses with his bag. Well, that's what he's got to do. Gets seeds. He goes. Pop some more onions over here. <laughs> that's what he does. Carrots. That's good. These are potatoes. Potatoes not ready yet. They take a long time. Could have told you that. All right. Well, I think that's a pretty good stopping point for us. Oh, he's doing my soup. Oh, whoa. That's how you drink the soup. You mad dog that soup. All right. Well. Because 7B9, or 8 9. Oh, sorry. 78 9. Fritz might help you with muscles, but y'all help me make, by making me laugh. Thanks, guys. Thank you for coming on by. Thanks for watching. I'm just going to, don't remind me, just pouring some flowers here. Always things to be done, you know. It'd be nice if Fiola helped at all. She is the farmer, but there we go. Looks good. Cool. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, one last shout out to uh, um, Stranded Stranded Sales. And uh, yeah, it is on sale today if you want to check it out. If you were just tuning in or missed any of this, the VOD should be up right now. That's for people watching the VOD. Oh. There you get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And thank you for joining us. This is nice and chill. This is relaxing.
There's Benson, Benson up there, joining us in spirit, snoring in reality. And um, we will, if you guys are going to be in Toronto, we will see you there mm-hmm. this weekend. Yeah. Um, and until <laughs> loose joints. I have a, I actually do have a video that I want. I, we just didn't have time this week that I want to make. That'll just be a very short thing to go up oh, on this yeah. channel, just because I'm excited about it. But until then, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time. The signature kiss kiss off. <laughs>